So when, as you say, uh, Boji Lai's right hand, the police chief, showed up in a consulate, not in the embassy, course, course, showed up yeah. in a consulate um, asking for asylum uh, because his story, which, you know, was quite dramatic about his, him knowing that Boji Lai's wife had yeah. killed one of uh, your countrymen, um, you know, he, had, he did not fit any of the categories for the United States giving him asylum. I mean, he had a, a record of corruption, of uh, thuggishness, brutality. He was an enforcer for Boji Lai. They may have had a falling out, and now he was trying to somehow get his way uh, to a place of safety. But on the other hand, you know, the consulate was quickly encircled by other police uh, who were either uh, subordinate to uh, Boji Lai or looking to curry favor. So it, it was becoming a, a very dangerous situation. So what we did was to tell him that, you know, he could not move into the consulate, that <laughs> there was no grounds on which we could offer that to him. But he kept saying he wanted to get the truth to Beijing. He wanted mm -hmm. the government in Beijing to know what was happening. So we said, we can arrange that. So right. indeed, uh, that's what we, we did. And we were very discreet about it and did not uh, try to embarrass anybody uh, involved in it, um, but tried to handle it in a very professional uh, manner, which I think we accomplished.